Hey, what's up, church? It's Pastor Austin. I want to take just the next few minutes in our midweek update this week to let you know about an event we have going on this weekend, a special service we're planning for the end of the month, and then what services will look like going forward in June. And so the first thing that we have is a family cruise that we're doing this Sunday, 1030 in the church parking lot. And so watch the service. 8.30, 9 o'clock when that thing's up on YouTube, and then come on over to the church. We're going to do a a parade through our parking lot, and there's going to be different things for you and your family to do, and uh, I might just squirt somebody with a squirt gun if you show up, but it's going to be awesome. Come on out. 10.30 is when we're meeting at the church this Sunday. I hope to see you and your family there. It's going to be so good just to see some of you. The next thing I want to let you know is that on May 31st, the last Sunday of May, Um, it's been our pattern that whenever there is a fifth Sunday in a month, we do what we call an all-in service. And so we get our whole church family all in one service and we celebrate some traditions. And so this year what we're doing is we're gonna do a drive-in style service on May 31st. And so I just wanna already invite you, I want you to already have that date in mind and be thinking that you're gonna be coming there. There's gonna be more details coming as that date gets a little closer. So just be ready, be excited. I'm so excited. I might just get up on the roof and preach. We'll see what's gonna happen. Um, And then in the last 24 hours, I've met with uh, a team of people from our church who work in all sorts of different arenas who are kind of helping inform us and make good, wise decisions about how we might go about gathering again. I I was on a phone call with Governor Polis with 700 other pastors in our state, and I met with uh, a dozen or so of our local area pastors, all talking about this sort of thing that we're all talking about. When is church going to get back to normal? And so I just want to let you know I'm eager that it looks like at this point we will be continuing with in-person services in June. And so what that does mean is that we're going to be hopefully seeing each other more in June. What that doesn't mean is that doesn't mean we're going to just stop doing what we've been doing online. Uh, I think it's important. There are some of you who are in a more at-risk category. You have health concerns right now. So I just want to let you know we're going to continue making our online service available uh, for the foreseeable future but I'm eager to just kind of get back together in some responsible and wise sized groups starting in June. So again, more details with that will be coming. I'm trying to keep you updated as quickly as I can. Um, And so really just want to let you know that I'm eager to see you guys. I want you to continue to read Ephesians. We are continuing in Ephesians chapter two this week. And so read those first 10 verses. Uh, Be thinking about, be calling people that you could maybe talk on the phone or Zoom or watch in a living room with the sermon on Sunday. Lastly, I just want to take a minute to thank you all for your generosity. April was an abnormally strong giving month for our church, and I just want to thank you that, and I think it's important that you know, as a church, we haven't had to slow down, stop, or even really change any of our support for our global outreach team, or even just what we're doing locally. We've been able to keep steadily giving and contributing to the the ministries and the people that we support not only here in Loveland, but around the world. And that is largely in part due to your generosity. We've also um, been able to invest in our building a little bit. The building's under construction right now. We're making some updates in a couple spaces. And so I'm eager and excited for you guys to get to see that. And we also just have some exciting things that are coming and in the works that I just can't wait to share more with you about when we have some more of the details. But uh, ultimately, I just want to say thank you. Being your pastor is such a privilege. You guys are Uh, Kent has always said this is such a generous group of people and it's just really being felt and it's easy to see in this time. So thank you. I love you. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys hopefully soon.